on November 30th, 2020, a very late season severe weather setup was set to take place in the Mid-Atlantic. The Storm Prediction Center issued a large slight risk area with an equally large 5% risk area for tornadoes to be produced. My plan was to take the six and a half hour trip south from Massachusetts and position myself somewhere in the circle in the northern portion of the Delmarva Peninsula in anticipation for the severe weather later that day. Very shortly after I arrived to my target area at 1.05 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Tornado Watch 515 was issued with a moderate risk for tornadoes to occur and a low risk for EF2 or stronger tornadoes to occur in this area. This watch would be active until 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Shortly after my arrival, a line of unwarned cells was making their track across the bay into the Delmarva Peninsula. Since nothing else was occurring yet, I figured I'd make a slight track west and try and record a time lapse of the approaching storms. I held on to my spot for as long as I could until I was overtaken by the approaching rain, and in typical 2020 and storm chasing fashion, the cell directly above the arrow got tornado warned almost immediately after my departure and actually went on to produce a tornado shortly thereafter. I made the decision to continue south and not try and catch a storm that I would probably never catch because of rapid storm motion. The storm coming from my southwest was gaining strength and was quickly turning into a tightening supercell with tornado potential. In the next clip, the area of interest in this approaching supercell begins directly over the farmhouse and slowly moves right of it and becomes more and more visible as time progresses. After reviewing and editing the footage, I actually think that I may have captured a funnel way back in the rain of this supercell directly over this arrow. Although it's hard to say definitively because it was so obscured by rain, some reasons why I think this could be a funnel are because A, you can clearly see an RFD cut and wrapping curtains of rain from left to right as defined by the arrow. This funnel, if it is a funnel, is right where it should have been located in the storm. And also, radar at the time did indicate the possibility of a tornado being produced right here. After my first encounter with this supercell, it was off to the races of trying to keep up with this rapidly moving storm. All I'll say was I was doing well over the speed limit in my attempt to stay with it, although I was rather unsuccessful until I reached the east coast of the peninsula and watched it fade over into New Jersey. 
although I never really caught back up to the storm, I was still rewarded with an epic roll cloud on the back side of this supercell, which you'll see in the next clip. After I concluded my time lapse on the beach, I realized there was one more line of storms approaching from the west and I figured I'd try and grab one more time lapse before the day was officially over. Just before the storm engulfed me and ended my day finally, I took this picture which actually was my favorite picture I took all day. So my final stats for this very late season chase were 18 consecutive hours on the road, around 800 miles driven, two tornado warn storms, and one possible funnel. You may ask me, was it worth it? And I would answer you, absolutely. Thanks for watching, guys.